The Roads to Carbon Neutral, presented by Total. Hello, I'm Emma Crosby. Welcome to The Roads to Carbon Neutral. Well, in this edition, we're going to focus on the future of sustainable mobility. In the two centuries since the introduction of mechanized transportation, the capacity, speed and efficiency of transit systems has been dramatically improved. Road transport, long-haul flights, mass transit systems and container ships have all fueled globalization and boosted the world economy. I think that the more people we have on the planet, the more the people will develop, the more they will need mobility. But we need also to reduce the emission, reduce the CO2. The switch to um, sustainable uh, mobility also requires new supply chains on the material side. The options are basically battery electric or hydrogen based. So you need to create equitable supply chains and that this material can be uh, sourced in a responsible way. Transport is one of the biggest contributors to climate change and it's the fastest growing source of global emissions. Out of all forms, road transport accounts for more than 70% of these emissions. So Total has shifted to e-mobility to supply electricity uh, to our customer. We are still going to supply petroleum product in service station like we did for 50 years now. And together with that, we are going to supply electricity for mobility. So it's not something you are supplying in one given place like a service station. So we are going to adapt ourselves to make sure we make electricity available for cars where the customer did it. 30-40% of an electric vehicle's cost will be associated with the battery. So innovation in battery technology, um, that will have the biggest impact in reducing the overall cost of electric vehicles. Now, many countries have introduced tax incentives to encourage the adoption of this green mobility solution. But there are still barriers to uptake. Reporter Emmeline Nsingi Nkosi takes a closer look. A report by McKinsey highlights three main consumer worries about electric vehicles. The first concern was one of affordability and the cost of ownership. Another, the power of batteries and anxiety over the distance one could travel before having to recharge. And finally, the worry over the lack of charging infrastructure to get you from A to B. For the 64% of those surveyed who said inefficient charging infrastructure is preventing them from making the change, the news is good. To support electric vehicle adoption, energy company Tatao are implementing a whole host of infrastructure changes. Pierre, how is Tatao reacting to the growing demand for electric vehicles? The first issue that we have to address is the deployment of infrastructure. In order to charge all these electrical vehicles, on one of the main criteria we have given ourselves is the number of charging stations, charging points, we will operate as part of our network. So we have given ourselves an ambition of operating a network of 150,000 charging points by 2025. We have won several concessions with uh, large cities. We have presence in uh, Amsterdam, in Belgium, in London, and we have been recently awarded uh, a 10-year concession for the city of Paris. As of today, it represents more than 10,000 charging points in cities. Because of its experience in service station business, Total has a strong advantage because we will leverage this position and it will serve not only needs for you know, standard customers, but for business customers, B2B customers as well. Motorsport has always been a test bed for technology and Formula E, the electric rival of F1, is no different. Two-time champions Team Diaz to Cheetah utilize to tell Quartz EV fluids to help optimize their car performances. It's a partnership that helps motorsports at this elite level during the heat of competition. The principle of Formula E is to take as much energy as possible from the battery and to bring it to the wheel to move the car with as low losses as possible. The key to be able to, to do this is the cooling of the battery. And working with a company like Total and being able to use the highest technology in the cooling, uh, cooling fluid for the, for the motor is very important. Beyond a 
entertaining racing fans, Formula E's stated purpose is to promote and advance electric cars. It's a high-speed laboratory for electric vehicle development. For innovative transport ideas to come to life, support for entrepreneurs is key. Total Carbon Neutrality Ventures CEO Girish Nandkani explains how he and his team finds, funds and fosters startups with breakthrough technologies. So we invest in a large range of technologies and business models. Uh, you know, we have a $400 million fund and close to 50% of our direct investments are in mobility uh, globally. So we're investing in companies which are in the ride hailing business. Uh, companies like uh, Heach, uh, we had invested in companies which do car sharing. So whether it's companies like Scoop or whether it's companies like Get Around, uh, we are also investing in companies in the uh, logistics space. It's a company called OnTruck out of Spain. Uh, they operate all over Europe. It's an online platform where people can book uh, carriers to ship their goods. There are too many trucks going back and forth, either empty or half full or, or not full at all. A lot of innovation is happening outside our companies, outside our industry. And this way we keep an eye to the ground, we know what's happening, and in one word, we are creating optionality for Total. It can be a long journey from concept to final prototype, but here are a few new forms of transport expected to move us across land, air and sea this century. German company Volocopter aims to usher in a new era of urban air mobility with its air taxi, VoloCity. Using a vertical takeoff and landing system, it doesn't require a runway, and its innovative design can transport passengers comfortably and quietly across cities. In Norway, passenger ferry operator Norled is building a hybrid battery and fuel cell driven ship named Hydra. The fuel cells will be powered by liquid hydrogen and entirely emission-free fuel. Hyperloop is the first reinvention of mass transportation for a hundred years. We're moving people at the speeds of an airline, on the ground, inside of a tube, and doing that to move millions of passengers per year with little to no energy consumption. But some of the projects that we've made the furthest along are in India between Mumbai and Pune. That's about 120 kilometer route. And that allows you to do that in about 20 minutes. Something that normally takes four or five hours in a car saves about 150,000 tons of CO2 per year. Well, that's all for this edition of The Roads to Carbon Neutral. To view further content from this series, visit roadstocarbonneutral.com. The Roads to Carbon Neutral, presented by Total.